do you have five minutes? Really, just five minutes, maybe even a little less. This past week, a Category 4 hurricane struck Louisiana and made its way right up through the center of the United States. And as I am recording this, it's going off of the East Coast, brought flooding even into West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and beyond. But uh, let there be no question, where that Category 4 storm hit in Louisiana was catastrophic. Uh, it is just, just so incredibly powerful. Uh, at this stage of the game, we're still learning of, of how much damage there was and, and who is struggling and who needs help. Uh, I heard from a friend of mine, a contact of mine in the Presbytery in, in Louisiana, and they said there are parts of Louisiana that they're saying may not have electricity for up to a month, um, that it is a rather significant. So a question comes up for me. What do we do and how do we respond as Christians? in the face of a hurricane or a natural disaster. Let's take a look at some scripture for just a second. These words from Proverbs 3. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you when you already have it with you. For those of us that live in southwest Florida, we understand hurricanes. You need to prepare for them, and you do what you can to mitigate them. And let's be frank, there but by the grace of God go any of us. Uh, we, we've had Category 3s come through. We've had Category 4s. We've been blessed in that we've not been a, seen a direct hit from a 5. But the reality is it could just as easily have hit here. So what do you do? Well, even if you prepare, if it's a truly, truly catastrophic storm, category four or five level, uh, most or many of our houses would not survive uh, being hit by that. And our churches, even though we prepare and build, um, that's just going to leave damage behind. The scripture teaches us not to have fear, for the Lord will be at our side. But it also tells us what we are supposed to do when a hurricane happens or when there's a natural disaster that hits somebody else. Do not withhold good from those whom it is due, it said, when it is in your power to act. And basically, don't say to your neighbor, hey, come back tomorrow, I'll give it to, to you tomorrow, when you already have it with you now. Uh, there are ways to respond in the midst of a hurricane or a natural disaster. Our first response, by all means, is to pray. But above and beyond that, there are organizations, the American Red Cross, Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, and others that do extraordinarily good work. On the other side of the fence, over the years I've learned something else. When we've had hurricanes hit right here in southwest Florida, and I've seen folks that have become homeless, I've seen the churches experience extraordinary damage, while there is incredible help from insurance, PDA, FEMA, and others, the reality is Sometimes that can take weeks, months, I have even seen many years before the help shows up. And yet, the, re the need is real, and it is immediate. As a result, I've learned that one of the best things to do is just simply send the money, if you're going to donate cash, directly to a place where it is local and can be put to immediate use. As an example, you mail it to a, a local church that you know was impacted by it, and that way you know that there's oversight because the leadership of that church is going to use the money wisely. And at the same time, it has quickly gotten to right where it needs to go. No administrative cost is involved. 100% of it's going to do something right where it needs to be done, and it's trustworthy because of the people that are going to oversee it. Uh, Holy Trinity right now, we are trying to figure out which churches uh, might need the help, and we're, we're preparing to send some help to, to our brothers and sisters in Louisiana. We're still learning because their electric's still out, and cell phone is coverage is still out, and it's spotty at best. But what can you do? What can I do? First and foremost, pray. Second of all, if you become aware of somebody that has need, don't wait and say, well, we'll give it to you tomorrow when you already have it today in the words of Proverbs. Let's get it to them as quickly as we can so we can help them recover from the storm. You may know a church. You may know a, 
an organization right there in Louisiana that needs it. If not, you can always donate it to Holy Trinity, and we'll send dollar for dollar uh, with no administrative costs. 100% of it will go right to a place on the ground that needs it. But in the meantime, let us continue to pray for the people as they are in the midst of their cleanup. Friends, there but by the grace of God go any of us, and we understand it well. Uh, may they clean up quickly, and may we be protected from the potential of a hurricane as we continue to march through hurricane season. God bless you. Take care.